Thousands of people have taken part in a far-right protest in central London this afternoon, led by activist Tommy Robinson. There's also been an anti-racist counter-protest nearby. Well, Sky's Martin Brunt joins me now. Uh, so, Martin, we've had these two uh, rallies in London, not sort of, the, it was made sure that they wouldn't uh, meet necessarily, but how have things gone so far? Well, Tommy Robinson, the far-right activist, had been urging his supporters for weeks to turn out uh, today. He said it would be the biggest day of his life and of theirs, and a lot of people did respond. Uh, something like nine or 10,000 of his supporters uh, marched uh, through central London, a short march to Trafalgar Square. Um, <clears throat> He said that this would be a day when the world would finally listen to their voice. Uh, their main chant um, was one of, we want our country back. Um, it was largely peaceful. Uh, it's not over yet, but um, the police feel that uh, things have gone uh, without any huge incident. Um, there were, uh, amongst his group of supporters, though, some uh, very offensive anti-Muslim chants. Um, during the afternoon, we did speak to some of his supporters. Tommy Robinson recently led a significant protest in central London, drawing attention to his ongoing campaign against Islamic immigration. The event, which attracted thousands of supporters, was a demonstration of Robinson's ability to mobilise people around his controversial views. Organised primarily through social media, the protest highlighted the power of digital platforms in modern activism and the deep-seated concerns of those who support Robinson's cause. Robinson, a well-known figure in the UK, for his outspoken views on Islam and immigration has a substantial following on platforms like Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. These platforms were instrumental in organising the protest, with Robinson and his team using them to spread the word and rally supporters. The use of social media allowed for rapid dissemination of information, ensuring a large turnout for the event. <laughs> As the protest began, central London was filled with chants and banners reflecting Robinson's anti-immigration stance. Supporters carried signs with slogans such as Stop Islamic Immigration and Protect Our Borders, making their message clear. The crowd's energy was palpable, with many participants expressing their frustrations and fears about the impact of immigration on the UK. Robinson's speech at the rally was a central moment of the protest. Standing before a sea of supporters, he reiterated his concerns about the risks posed by Islamic immigration. He argued that the current policies were insufficient to protect national security and that more stringent measures were necessary. Robinson emphasised the need for thorough vetting processes to prevent extremists from entering the country, highlighting incidents of terrorism that he claimed were linked to immigration policies. People and their and differences, whatever they might be. But it's not a contradiction to also bring up the economic questions that we're faced with at the moment. This week, Parliament had the opportunity to pass a very simple amendment to the government's programme, which was to end the two-child benefit cap. That would have taken several hundred thousand children out of the most... And would have cost about one to the stage billion that, probably, to do. Just keep it on the stage. So let's sit down. And Sorry, that is to the shame of Parliament. Stay here with him. 
I will always vote to end that cap. I will always vote to try and bring justice and reasonable standards of living to all children within our society. But it's also about wages, it's also about housing, it's also about education, it's also about privatisation of the health service. If a government, any government anywhere in Europe, fails to deal with the issue of the crisis of falling living standards, the crisis of poverty, the millions that access food banks all across this continent, then the blame culture against minorities and refugees and others will take over. That is the atmosphere in which the far right and the fascists thrive. So our campaign is yes to oppose racism in any form, but it's also for a more decent, more equal, more an inclusive society that gives hope to all people in all circumstances. That is what unites us together. And over, I'll finish on this. over the last uh, six months particularly, but over the last years especially, many of us have marched with we want peace. We want to see an end to the killing of Palestinian people. We want to see an end to the war in, the war in Gaza. We want to see peace come there. But those marches have brought people together from a huge range of communities, societies, and all over the country. That is the political movement that will beat fascism. That is the political movement that will beat fascism. That is the political movement to bring justice and equality. Thank you very much. The protest drew significant media attention, with numerous journalists and cameras present to cover the event. This coverage helped amplify Robinson's message, bringing it to a wider audience. However, it also attracted criticism from those who oppose his views. Counter-protesters and human rights advocates argued that the rally promoted hatred and division, calling for more inclusive and compassionate approaches to immigration. Despite the controversy, the protest was a clear demonstration of the depth of feeling among Robinson's supporters. Many participants shared personal stories of how they believed immigration had negatively affected their lives and communities. They spoke of increased competition for jobs, pressure on public services, and concerns about cultural integration. For these individuals, the protest was an opportunity to voice their grievances and demand change.
You get the picture. Yeah. Uh, right. I need a toilet break. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I have my water? Oh. Right. Let's have a little bit. Uh, it'll die down now. Well, yeah, he's just going to chat for ages. Yeah. Yeah, like picture, uh, yeah, we've got pictures. Economic concerns were a significant theme throughout the protest. Participants argued that immigration was placing a heavy burden on public resources, making it harder for British citizens to access essential services. They claimed that the influx of migrants was driving down wages and creating job shortages. These economic arguments were central to the protesters' calls for stricter immigration controls and a re-evaluation of current policies. Cultural issues were also a major focus of the protest. Many supporters expressed fears about the impact of immigration on British culture and values. Values. They argued that the large number of migrants entering the country was leading to cultural fragmentation and a loss of national identity. Robinson's rhetoric often included references to protecting British traditions and preventing the spread of ideologies that he claimed were incompatible with Western values.
The role of law enforcement was crucial in managing the protest. A significant police presence was deployed to maintain order and ensure the safety of both protesters and the public. While the event remained largely peaceful, there were moments of tension, particularly when counter-protesters attempted to confront Robinson's supporters. The police's efforts to keep the groups separated were essential in preventing violence and maintaining public order. As the protest came to an end, many participants expressed hope that their voices would be heard by policymakers. They called for immediate action to address their concerns, emphasizing that the current approach to immigration was unsustainable. While the protest was just one event, it reflected broader sentiments within certain segments of the population. Robinson and his supporters vowed to continue their efforts using social media and other tools to keep the pressure on the government. Well, 
not to the wedding. He's your big brother. Tragedy is still in it. I saw that. I saw him sort of get a bit of a jump, but yeah. <laughs> I don't like using people's names in public because I don't know what name they use with other people around them. But, in the aftermath of the protest, the debate over immigration policies remained heated. Supporters of the protest argued that it was a necessary expression of legitimate concerns, while critics warned of the dangers of fostering division and intolerance. The event highlighted the complex and often contentious nature of the immigration debate in the UK. It also underscored the power of grassroots movements and digital activism in shaping public discourse and influencing policy. Short, Tommy Robinson's protest in central London was a significant event that brought together thousands of people united by their concerns over Islamic immigration. The protest highlighted economic, cultural and security issues, reflecting deep-seated frustrations among certain groups. The role of social media in organising and amplifying the protest underscored the evolving nature of activism in the digital age. As the debate over immigration continues, events like this protest will likely remain an important part of the conversation, influencing public opinion and policy decisions. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and for more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel.